Hey, remember when I had a nice relaxing drink of tea before my last video? You know, the little sip? I thought that was fun. Well, guess what? This is the type of video we're having today. Low quality fans of a high quality Bruins team, buckle up. This is episode 2.5 on a video I didn't want to make about something I didn't want to talk about. Because we're beating a dead horse over and over and over. And I'm making this video because I feel like I have to now, even though it's a little late, couple days late actually. But here's the kicker, is the only reason I'm making it is because the media or the talking heads of Boston won't shut up about it. So buckle in, kiddos, because you're getting unhinged low qual today. First of all, when I say the talking heads media is the problem about this, I actually thought that. I was so stupid that I thought, well, maybe it's just Boston media. Because that's, it's like Toronto, right? Where they just shit on the team all the time. And you're like, why? Why can't we be happy? We have had a decade of pretty decent stuff in the future. At least the immediate future isn't that bad. So why are we all upset? Why do we keep talking about the same thing over and over and over again? But then I decide to dive in, you know, podcast, YouTube, Reddit, just jumping in to see the comments of what the average Bruin fan thinks. And we're all so fucking dumb and annoying and we just can't be happy. So here we go. We're going to approach this in two different ways. And I'm going to talk about the first thing. And then the second thing, and in the first thing, I'm going to talk about what I keep hearing and then what the truth is. And then the second thing, we're going to talk about what I keep hearing and what the truth is. Okay? Here's the first thing. Now, if you believe that Zidane Chara, the ex-captain of the Boston Bruins who broke his back to bring us a cop, betrayed the Bruins by doing this, welcome to hockey. Because you've clearly never watched a fucking game in your entire life. So welcome to the new season. It's a weird one to jump in on, but welcome. You're going to watch your first bout of hockey. You're going to finally see some players play. If I see one comment, one comment about how Zidane Chara betrayed our team. It's like Tuchel Rask. Like, you just, you just, you just had to shit on him for a while because he did something for his family. And now you got shit on Chara because he's doing something for himself. If you put one comment, I will find you. And I will beat you like a pinata at a boarding school for the blind. Zidane O'Chara parted ways with the Boston Bruins because the Boston Bruins organization told him, hey, we don't think you're going to get as much ice time as you want. Laid it all out for him. We're going to talk about the organization in a second. We're not there yet. Zidane O'Chara made a choice for himself. He has earned that right. He has won a Norris Trophy. He has captained this team. He has won a Stanley Cup. And he is... The reason we won that cup. I do not want to hear any shit about the talent on that roster, which there was plenty of the way that we just dominated through the playoffs, which we didn't really. What happened was Char came in in the mid-2000s and he established a winning culture. He changed that franchise. Did you see the early 2000s? Don't at me about this. Char won us that cup. Zidane O'Chara made this decision for himself, and it was the right decision for him. He was given honest answers about what the playtime he was going to get, and he is a hockey player, and that's why we loved him so much. He is a hockey player. He wants to play hockey, and he doesn't think he'll get that opportunity with the Bruins because the Bruins honestly told him he won't. Why is that so hard to understand? The other side of this equation is the Bruins organization. Did they betray Chara? Did they shit on him? Why didn't they give him more money? Why didn't they promise him more ice time? I'm sorry. We have an influx of young talent. No, we don't. We don't. There's an argument there. We were honest and upfront. For once, Boston organizations have been known for not doing that. We fuck our players sometimes. It's a business. I get that. The organization didn't screw anyone over because they were honest. Now, if they had lied to him, and he spent a ton of time on the bench, and he was held back, and yeah, I would, I would be pissed at the organization. The argument I'm seeing here is, who would you rather have? Zaboral or Chara? Vakaninen or Chara? Lauzon or Chara? Um, that's the problem! If there is a let-me-think-about-it 
to this equation, then you go with the young legs because this season requires it. That's what it is. We have the leadership covered. No one's going to lead like Chara. I get that. Just like no one's going to handle the power play like Tori Krug. We're losing things this offseason. But we have Bergie and Krejci for leadership. I dare say Coyle as well. But you know what? We need young legs. So Zaboral does not have his reach and didn't look good in training camp day one. But he doesn't have his reach. And he doesn't have his know-how. And he doesn't have all these years of experience. No. But he has young legs for these back-to-backs. And they're going to need him this year. Same with Vakanainen. And I get it. Our left side defense doesn't look good. But save the cap hit and work towards adjusting Getting someone else in the doors to play left side D on the second or third line. Because that's what we need. And Chara was not the answer. Unfortunately, I love Chara. And I loved him on the penalty kill. And I loved him when the ice kind of compressed and got shortened against certain teams. But you don't love him against the Tampa Bay Lightning or against the Capitals or against the Rangers. You're just not going to like him against those speedy teams. So, yes. We moved on from him, and we were honest with him. And he moved on from us, and he was honest with us. And both sides have the right reasons for doing this, and you fuckers keep getting upset about it! What is the problem? Why can't we be happy for him? And I dare you to have a negative thing to say about this man, especially during the games. We should support him. We should root for Char to succeed. And if the Washington Capitals go on a run and they win the cup and Char gets to lift the cup again and you say something shitty about him, then you're not a Bruins fan because what you should be doing is cheering him on. Yes. Do I want my team to win first? Absolutely. And I hope they smoke the Capitals this year. I hope they go 8-0 and and then sweep them in the playoffs. But if that doesn't work out and if the Capitals go on to win the cup and Char gets to lift it again, I will have a tear in my fucking eye, and so should you. This fan base needs a wake-up call. We need to be better. We need to be better.